Welcome to Dental Vibes, I'm Gabby and I'm Carla and today's video is sponsored by Garfield Refining. Garfield Refining has been ranked the number one dental scrap refiner in the entire nation. They work with thousands of dental assistants helping them earn the most for their dental scraps. Garfield Refining offers many benefits to dental professionals making the refining process super easy yeah. and profitable. In case you're unaware, dental scrap contains precious metals that can be melted down and refined for profit. And there are companies that will buy it and recycle this metal and turn it into dental materials. Offices have earned enough through scrap refining to fund new equipments and supplies. So this makes a great opportunity for dental assistants who don't refine or for the ones who have worked with go-betweens to exchange their scrap for cash. Because Garfield takes out the middleman, dental professionals can expect a larger payout, but this is not the only reason why we like to refine with them. They also have a state-of-the-art automated shipping process that starts when you request your first refining kit. The starter kit includes your prepaid shipping label in a container for storing your scraps. Once you're ready to refine your scraps, just get your prepaid shipping label on and ship it to them. Their customer service will be updating you through the entire process. Once Garfield refines and values your scrap, you can expect payment as little as in two business days. Refining with Garfield is a guarantee that you will get the most for your scraps. They do all the heavy lifting, so just ship it to them and get paid. <laughs> so make sure to check them out. We're going to leave their link below. And you can also go to our Instagram page. And if you click on the link in the bio, you will see their website for more information. And when Dental Vibes followers fill out the form at garfieldrefining.com slash dentalvibes21, they'll receive 50% off all refining fees. Now let's get started with the Ceric Crown Prep procedure. Okay guys, so over here we have our basic set of instruments that we will need for a Ceric Crown Prep. Let's start over here in the bottom. We have our high speed hand fees. We have our straight attachment with the polishing wheel that you will need uh, to adjust the crown. Once it's done, we have a slow speed, of course. Uh, and that's mainly, you know, if the doctor wants to remove the K that may be close to the nerve, they just do it a little bit, a water syringe tip. We have our suctions. You can also have your dry shield or isolite. But if you're struggling with your suctioning technique, make sure to check out our video. On that, we're gonna leave the link. And now moving on here, we have our anesthetic with the topical anesthetic. We have our mouth mirror, explorer, cotton pliers. Ooh, I forgot. <laughs> Just kidding. We have our, we can't really see it here, but it's a spoon excavator, plastic instrument, bowl burnisher, and your articulating paper to check the bite. Don't forget that. And over here, they'll give you, um, if you ever taking the CEREC training, is they teach you how to remove the cement with this rubber tip and it's awesome for removing that excess cement afterwards. Over here we have a special set of burr block and it's specifically for the Ceric Crown Prep because they have um, also the polishing wheels for the Ceric Crowns. And over here we got more polishing wheels. Now, guys, you gotta find out why you're doing this Crown Prep. Is it a virgin tooth that has the cake? or does it have an existing crown already with recurrent decay? If it has an existing crown, you're gonna need a special instrument to remove that. The doctor is first gonna section the crown and then he's gonna use a crown remover. This is the one we use to finish sectioning off that crown. And remember, you're not gonna throw away that crown. You have to send it to a refinery so you can get paid. <laughs> For that, and we're gonna leave you the link below on the refinery that we like to use, which is Garfield Refining. All right, guys, so for the materials part, I'm just gonna actually walk you through the procedure step by step. So, starting with, of course, a patient is numb, you're gonna start removing the decay on the tooth, and sometimes you're gonna need the caries indicator to make sure you got all the decay cleaned out. Once it's clean, you're gonna probably need a buildup. Here, we use the glass ionomer Fuji 2LC. But of course, get with your doctor to figure out what kind of buildup material they like to use. Uh, for the Fuji, is going to be the cavity conditioner on the tooth. Here I have my dapping dish and then my microbrush. 
you're going to rinse the cavity conditioner out of the tooth and then uh, place the Fuji and then you're going to light your of course then you're going to start perfecting the prep once the prep is done, you're gonna look at the margins. Sometimes you need to retract the tissue. So we have several ways you can retract the tissue here. We have the good old cord with the hemodent solution. We have the traxident. Um, sometimes you have to use a laser. Um, and then going back to the cord, we did not have the cord packer in our setup and that's because we don't really use it. We use the probe um, and the explore to pack cord, but of course if your doctor or if you prefer to use a pack cord, um, the core packer, excuse me, the core packer, you make sure you have that in your setup. So after um, you retracted the tissue, or actually let's say you don't need to retract the tissue, it's just bleeding. You can use the visca set just to stop the bleeding. If your prep looks good, then you are ready for your final scan and to start making your center crown. We are ready to scan. This is what um, your first page will look like. You have to pick which tooth you're doing. Here on this patient, we were doing number 20 and 19 at the same time. We are not gonna walk you guys through all the details on how to draw margins, how to design a crown because this video will be way too long. Um, this was a case that was already delivered, so it's just so you can have an idea of what it looks like. So after you pick the tooth, you're gonna click next and it's gonna take you to the scanner page and might take a little bit to load here. Okay, so here we are. This is um, the preps that we scan for 19 and 20. And then of course you always need an opposing and then you need a bite. So that's what it looks like. After you got your scan, you're gonna click next and then that's where you're gonna start drawing the margin. Um, of course, it's not going to show here because it's already been done, but the next step will be drop margins and then you click next again and then you start designing the crowns. These two crowns, obviously, they're already designed and that's what they will look like. And then you would click next and then it will start milling um, from the milling unit. So to start bonding the crown on the tooth, we're going to prepare the crown. We're going to etch it using porcelain edge. And we have our little cup there that we use because you have to rinse that off the crown. Then you air dry it and apply bonding, only bonding. Then on the tooth, we're going to apply regular edge just on the margin that's going to get rinsed out we're going to isolate and then we apply prime and bond both things on the tooth and we're going to use our nexus nx3 clear cement and it gets applied on the crown you sit that on the tooth and then you're going to use the rubber tip which we already told you is awesome to remove that excess cement and you're going to tag it with the light just a little bit it's like a one second thing so then you can flick off the cement easily and then you can floss it do you see how we have like a little knot we love to make that right on the center that way when you put the floss you're able to like drag it back and forth and it's much easier to remove the excess cement that way once your crown is cemented, you're going to need to take a bite wing, so make sure you get everything for your bite wing x-ray. And when you do take the bite wing, what are you looking for? In this patient, for example, we did 19 and 20. We need to see if the margins are closed, which they are. And then we can see here these little things, that's cement. So we can see that there is cement still left behind. And as the assistant, you want to make sure before the patient leaves to go back and remove that cement, either floss again, go with the explore around and make sure you get all that cement out. And your Sarah crown has been completed. All right, so that's it for the Seri Crown Prep setup and procedure. Uh, it definitely involves a little bit more instruments and materials mm -hmm. and a few extra steps on the traditional Crown Prep, uh, but they're very interesting mm -hmm. 
to assist so i hope that you get a chance to you know work with them one time and i would like to add a myth about sarah crowns oh yeah so <laughs> you may be heard uh, from other dental professionals that sarah yeah. crowns don't last that they break mm -hmm. that they suck and all this stuff yes and i would have to say that sarah crowns um they are definitely different Yes. And the, the prep needs to be a yeah, certain absolutely. way, um, the scan needs to be a certain way, the yes. design needs to be a certain way, the way you bond mm -hmm. it needs to be a certain way. So if the and, dentist... And by the way, just to throw it out there that yes, not every crown prep will yes. require a mm -hmm. serrated crown. There are times and reasons why sometimes you send it out to the lab and you need a different material, but in general, if you do a mm -hmm. serrated crown properly, it works perfectly and it could last a lifetime just yeah. like any lab crown mm -hmm. but the doctor needs to have that set yes. training and follow the guidelines yeah. which um sometimes it could take a little bit to practice and yeah. perfect but if you do perfect it serrate crowns could be great and they could last a lifetime so with that said let's end this video i hope you guys like it and that it's helpful i hope you have learned something new today mm -hmm. don't forget to like this video of course and subscribe, subscribe to, our to our channel, channel. <laughs> keep supporting us thank you so much and we will see you next time keep, keep smiling, smiling.